Hey everybody! Welcome to really early, well for me, really early Tuesday or Saturday morning. Um, Shadow, don't hit. My cat is going crazy. She's not used to, well she's used to being up late this early, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a little early. It's 8.43 um, in the morning. I don't usually get up until before, until after. Shadow, stop! scratching my walls um 10 but gramp um had issues last night with the food that uh, our aid made um not sure if it's <sighs> we had macaroni and cheese and we also had some bratwurst and some um was it rice sides but it was like that mexican rice so it's got the little hard pieces of like the wild rice in it <laughs> Um, he didn't eat much of the macaroni and cheese, which is weird because he usually likes that. He ate three of the bratwursts, um, and I'm not sure if this one had cheese in it. I don't think this one did because we were thinking that maybe he had, um, uh, dairy issues like I do. Um, but he didn't eat much of that, so we didn't think we needed to give him a dairy pill. So anyways, um, yeah, he was up a couple times last night. Even when I was sleeping, he got up, got himself up and went to the bathroom. Um, luckily he did it on his own without my assistance. And then he was up at like 7 o'clock this morning. And I'm like, what? Good thing I got up to go to the bathroom to check out because I saw him. Um, he stays in bed. He's pretty good. But um, it just threw me off a little bit. So I was like, so now I'm like, hey, Becca. Now I'm like, hello, wake up. And I'm like, it's my day off. And tomorrow I got to go to work for a four-hour shift. And it's going to be crazy at the paint store because <laughs> it's going to be nice weather. But I'm like, okay. Um, and I don't have any of my Ninja Nitro. Um, cause I didn't have any this year, but I do have this and that's what I'm on here for. Um, so I figured I'd do it now while I have the time. <clears throat> so, um, I told him to go back to bed. Um, and he's like, okay, you know, he's a cute old man. He's really cool. Um, very easy to work with. Um, he, he's getting a little more, um, I don't know. He's getting used to, like, he used to get the mail and things like that, and so, mom's not here anymore, so mom used to be down there, and he used to be content with having somebody, um, yeah, see, Becca, when I have, um, I was telling her that, well, because I can't do grocery shopping anymore, um, and we're having Pearl do it, she's getting all, like, the different things and the cheaper things, and, um, She's starting to make different meals, which is good, which she's not really used to. So she's doing more of like uh, some spicy things and things like that. So we're testing it out. And that was my cat going crazy down the hallway. <laughs> this is a weird day. Um, and so basically, I think we're just, it's like a trial and error. Um, when he got his uh, pacemaker put in, they did say that he looks like he had, um, hey John, diverticulitis. But, um... I wasn't exactly, we weren't exactly sure about that and all those other things, so, um, it was, like, never confirmed, so, I don't know. <laughs> he had issues last night in the bathroom, um, and I had to clean that up. Yay. Um, so, yeah, it was a little bit weird, um, but he was back in bed, uh, and he was okay. So, he's just tired. I'll probably go down after this and see if he wants to actually get up, but he likes to have me, um chill out with him and I'm like I have to do my young living I have to do this other stuff it's my day off and I really need to relax um so usually he's fine on su see this is where we're finding the issues on some days he's fine he can sit in front of the tv watch baseball watch golf and he's completely fine doesn't need anything else he's fine yeah he had issues swallowing um before when he was in rehab um and stuff and then he seemed to be okay. See, he fluctuates. It's okay. And he doesn't feel pain. Like, he doesn't feel a lot of pain either. So when he's, like, not feeling good, we're like, um, are you in pain? Are you doing this? And he's like, no, I'm fine. You know, when, um, he was scratching himself because I had to file down his nails. Um, he would scratch himself. And then I'd, like, clean it up. And I'd have to put the alcohol gauze on it. And I'm like, okay, this is gonna sting a little bit. But I need to sanitize it. And then basically it would, um beyond there and I'm like does that sting and he's like no I don't even feel it so I'm like that's interesting that he doesn't even really feel those types of things either but he's 95 so I mean 
he's like awesome so but anyways um I just wanted to get on here and do an unboxing. I know I haven't really been on here a lot. I've been working part-time job at Sherman Williams. I still have that. I have limited hours that I work there, so I had to make up for some. So I've been working my Young Living business to get more income coming in from that and also trying to take care of Grant at the same time and do all that. So I've been, like, kind of crazy going here, going there, dealing with uh, family things, um, all that other craziness. Uh, so, um, it is a lot easier, unfortunately, I mean, without mom here, because she just, she was a handful, but, um, there was different kinds of things that I asked for help, and, um, there were different clauses that I wouldn't be able to be on here right now with you, um, talking about Gramp or doing any of that stuff if I was, um, paid to be a caretaker, according to my aunt, um, which is legally for that whole thing. Um, thank you, John. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm trying to figure out uh, my finances to come in to pay Discover um, and trying to figure out where that money's going to come from. Working the Young Living, trying to get back to at least $75 a month income from Young Living. And then, because um, that's what I had last time before all my members fell off and I wasn't able to keep up with it because I had to deal with mom and all this other stuff. Um, and then... So I'm working on that now, um, and getting more people up, but also trying to take care of Grandpa and his catheter, um, line and changing the bags over and making sure he's taken care of and, you know, he's got food and all that stuff so that he can stay in this house so we can stay in this house. And, you know, especially now with this whole craziness, uh, going around and then dealing with crazy work and not having caffeine and not having coffee and you know trying to do all that. I had an ice cap the other day and Dan did that give me energy and I was just like, "Holy crap." I'm like, "This is how it feels to have normal levels of energy. That's a little insane." Um, but I'm like, if I had that, I'd do more stuff like my older brother Dan cuz he's off doing crazy stuff all the time and I'm like, "I never knew how he could do that, but now I know." <laughs> I'm like, "Cuz he's got like three ice caps and like five freaking energy drinks he drinks a day and he jokes he's like oh yeah i'm super bad <laughs> but anyways i digress this video is mainly um supposed to be about my new uh er young living order um my wellness box unboxing uh which i'm really excited about because uh this is all the stuff that you definitely want to get now especially with all the craziness going around for your cleaning and other things um so let's get to it all right so and don't use scissors in the morning when you're not awake that much. <laughs> it was so hard to get this open. Alright, so anyways. Alright, my woo! -hoo. Yes, Shadow, this is my cat. No, you have to go over here. No, don't mess with my camera. Shadow, come on. Oh, Shadow, move. She's a troublemaker. She's been crazy. All right, so this is all what I get. All right, so first things first. I get the little pumpy pumps for my Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, guys. Thieves Foaming Hand Soap, okay? This is, this, you're going to see a theme in here. Okay, so we got Thieves Foaming Hand Soap. Woo-woo, it's got the thieves in it, and it's foaming hand soap. It's awesome. And then we've got Thieves Mouthwash again. Now this shit I've been work using like three days a week now. Um, and, and, not three days a week. The For three days so far this week. See, I'm not awake yet, guys. Um, and it's awesome. Very good for issues in here. I have issues lately in here and I can't tell whether it's because I have issues to gluten. Or if it's something in the cooking, like uh, certain kinds of butter I can't have because my body can't digest it. And I need um, my gut health to be supported. So this actually helps with my mouth because you know your mouth goes into your digestive system. So if your teeth are good and your mouth is good and it's got good hygiene and stuff, it goes into your gut. And your gut flora will be actually supported that way too. And I take my probiotic Life 9. Um, which I actually forgot the last couple of days because it's just been so crazy here. Um... So anyways, that is the mouthwash, and I'll explain these a little bit in a minute. Oh, there's another pumpy thing. Pumpy thing. And then I've got two of the household cleaners, guys. Household cleaners! Yeah! So, like, instead of using all that crap that you guys have been hearing about, like, having people go and have, um, 
poison control having called poison control because of all the overdoses and all the fumes and all that stuff and all the other cleaning products you don't have to worry about that with this these don't have those harsh chemicals in them but they still do the job still do the job and i'll show you why um it's ultra concentrated tra ultra concentrated and there's a thing on the back here that tells you what to do like one capful for um to 30 parts water for most cleaning things one capful to 15 percent water part water heavy degreasing one capful to 50 part water light greasing and for glass it's one part to 50 or one part to 100 for glass um so it's really cool i actually used this when i was in elma to clean out um the people that were there before me uh never ever cleaned out their stove and their oven never and it had a hood vent and it was greasy and disgusting so i had to use like a lot like i used the the biggest one on this one so it was like um one to 15 for heavy degreasing like one cap to 15 parts water and then i let it sit overnight and actually for that one i actually had to use some baking soda with that too um and let it sit in the oven part um not the the hood because the hood was with that um the grate and you can't exactly do it with the, with the grate or whatever um, and then it, I did as much as I could because it was never cleaned. And so it was baked on forever. Um, and that was the first time I actually ended up having to do that. I'm going to have to do that with the one down here. But I have to do it when Pearl's not cooking. So it has to be on a day when I have enough energy, which I don't today. And when I can actually focus on what I'm doing. Which will probably be either on the three days that I usually have off, which is Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Or however that works in the future, depending on how our business decides to change the hours uh because that's another thing once the whole new york state opens up again i guess all right so this is awesome like i love it and i use it all the time for um my cleaning all right so we got a couple other things this is thieves aroma bright toothpaste now i like this this is what i used before i got the second one now the second one's a whitening toothpaste and i love the whitening i'm actually gonna have to reorder the whitening one this time around for may but um i can uh give this to uh somebody who actually would like it or, or i can do a contest with uh the ones that i don't do. i do that sometimes when i have time it's just kind of crazy but this is what i was using before it's awesome it's like i said you want really good gut and uh, mouth health because that'll help and that goes with the uh sinus cavities um i've noticed because i've had chronic sinus um issues uh so the sinuses need to be healthy so when you do that and it, it's incorporated it's a system so you got to make sure not just one part is okay you got to make sure the whole body system's okay so part of that is your mouth system your sinuses your stomach your gut flora it's like a whole body wellness thing and thieves the blind and thieves is really good for supporting all of that and keeping your immune system up so it can help fight off all yucks that you get um so that's cool. Um, and then I got these guys, finally. Remember when I got the order of hand sanitizers before? Well, I got the small ones again, yeah! Because they were all out of stock and I got the baby ones now and the spray. Okay, so you get two of each, which is awesome. And actually, since I have some, I'm probably gonna give these away to whoever wants to sign up for the kit so um, and start their wellness journey because that's just the bomb. All right, so we get these cute little thieves sprays. I love using these, especially when I'm out before this whole thing happened and we got grounded. Um, she's like attacking the walls. Any of you out there have a cat that just like randomly attacks your walls? There's not even like anything out there. I mean, I've got the window. I had the window open a little bit, so maybe she's smelling something out the window. I don't know, but anyway. Um... All right, so back to this before my cat was going crazy. Um, the Thieves Spray, I spray it all the time when I went to the grocery store on the cart handles. And then if I was going into a public bathroom, I'd spray it on the handle of the bathroom door, both sides. And then I could touch the handle and I knew I was safe. Um, and then I would um, spray it on the um, toilet seat. Because who knows what's on the toilet seat or where it's been going on, on the handles, anything that I could see. And I actually used to go through all these all the time because I'd be like, shh, everything. But it's a lot better than, say, one of those, you know, ones that you're like, 
okay, spraying. And and these ones, you can spray on your mask and you're good. They don't have other issues. Um, the only thing I, I advise is that it's got, it includes uh, cinnamon oil. So if you do choose to spray it on your mask, let it like sit for a while. Uh, don't do it right away if you're going to put the mask on. I advise not nobody to do that, okay? Uh, we don't want to be doing that. Our membranes in our eyes are very sensitive. There was an issue with another lady that I, my friend of a friend who did that and ended up having issues. Um, so we don't want to overdo that, okay? Everything is within normal routine, okay? We're going crazy now because of this other stuff. Yes, I know, Shadow. Um, it's like having a kid. <laughs> Um, so we just want to be safe and do it with logical thinking. Don't freak out and with all this other stuff. I mean, I know it's scary and I know people, it's very serious, but also we have to make sure that we're making sure that we're okay. Because if you overdo it, like with what's happening now with the other stuff and the over counter stuff, um, and the other brands, the chemicals in there are not meant for that. Like the, the spray that's meant for like uh, countertops, bathroom, toilet seats, things like that, that are not going to be on your skin or porous, like, like, uh, masks or jackets or anything like that, clothes, um, because it's not meant for that. Uh, that's why they have those warnings on there for, for on poor service and leave, make sure the windows are open and you're highly ventilated. I mean, otherwise, why would they say highly ventilated on the thing? You, I mean, when we're freaked out because of what we're hearing on the media and things like that, we don't think things through, okay? Because fear is acting. We're not acting. Fear through us is acting. And that's where we need to be like, okay, hey. And actually, I have another theory on that too. Like, no matter what you do, certain people are actually following the the things and other people aren't i actually um our seat not ceo or, or one of our high guys in our company in sherman williams actually came in yesterday and was talking to us about how we're thinking about reopening soon come june or whatever and on monday we're gonna have a uh, my bosses are gonna be on a conference call about it and i was telling him and he was like yeah it's it's kind of crazy because even if you have that six feet difference, you're going to have people that are not going to understand. And I'm like, I live with an elderly grandfather who's got health issues and stuff. So it puts me in a position. And I'm like, no matter what I do to try to save myself and stuff, if people are not going to be listening to the public and we open up to the public, I'm screwed. Okay. So I'm like, okay, I, I'm getting all my thieves, doing my part and doing all that stuff. But the point is, if some other customer comes in and like is talking and then they spit at me by accident because they don't have a masks, you know, I mean, I don't know what our policy is going to be. I mean, it's not like if we open up, I don't think we're going to be able to deny somebody who doesn't have a mask, you know, but it, it depends. Like, that's what they have to talk about. So, I mean, for that, I mean, this is the stuff that's going through my mind. I'm like, hey, if you spit at me, that's still, like, I'm wearing my mask. I'm doing my stuff. You do that to me, I'm contaminated. And I'm like, I have to come home to my grandfather now. And then he's, he's susceptible. That's not cool. One reason why my older brother's staying out of the house. But at the same time, no matter what you do, I mean, it's like a catch-22. See, if everybody followed the rules and did it, then we'd be more safe. But then certain people have their opinions on what to do and with different things and how it's, it's you know, going against our liberties and uh, all this other stuff, which I get. I'm sympathetic. But at the same time, like I posted earlier, when you're, each person's in a different boat. Basically, we're all in the same storm, but we're in a different boat. Some people have really nice boats. Some people have boats with holes in the bottom and some people are just swimming. Okay. And some people have already drowned. Okay. So it's, it's seriously across the board and with as many crazy things as is going on. Sorry, all my stuff's like falling out. This is why I'm stocking up on my thieves. Okay, guys, because at least it gives me some peace of mind knowing that I'm doing my part to help myself and my family out. But in the same, you know, breath, I can't sit there and freak out all the time with something that happens. Um, because it's not going to matter. I mean, I'm going to do my part, but if other people aren't doing their part, I'm going to be doing this all in vain. And it's not fair to me. It's not fair to other people who are doing everything that they're taught and told that are right. And then just have other people just kind of come in and be like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 I don't care. I'm going to go to God anyways or, you know, whatever. If I die, I die, you know. You know, it's, it's just the mentality where people are. Each person's different. Each person, you know, I'm not judging anybody. Um, even though sometimes I sound like I am. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm just saying, for me, it, it's kind of what I have to fight with in my head all the time. Like, if I was by myself and I didn't have an elderly grandfather, 
Like I can put myself in that position. And not a lot of people can put themselves in other people's positions and be sympathetic. That's where we're having the problem. You know, because we have, you know, these groups of people, these younger kids that are like, some kids, like the other day I, I was out here and I saw them and they were sitting on, on the grass and uh, one of them, one out of the five were wearing a mask and they were all sitting really close to each other. I, I mean, and now with the fact that if you actually, for New York State, if you have to actually go to work, businesses in order to open up have to test all their, all their employees. So I'm probably going to end up getting tested too if you're going to be working or whatever. And with the rate of like in Massachusetts, there was an article, I don't know if it was true or not. I'm thinking it is. Um, they were saying that they opened up a Wegmans and, um, they had tested like 50% of the employee population and 50% of those people or not 50%. Yeah. 25%, whatever the rate was, there was like 50 people that had it, but they, they were asymptomatic. They didn't have issues. Some of them did and they stayed home. Other ones still were working and, th and they were like me. They didn't have any symptoms in there. I mean, who knows? I could probably have it right now if that's the case, if you're asymptomatic. I mean, that's the problem with what's going on. Nobody knows, you know? I mean, and then there was all this talk about it could have been mutated from a different thing or it could have been part of the flu slash pneumonia slash whatever uh, thing. Um, who knows? Nobody knows. But at least I'm doing my part. Nobody can be 100% safe um, with all the variables that are in there. It's just common sense. I mean, it's, it's, it's logic. I mean, if you... The only way you're going to be safe is if you don't accept any foreign objects, mail or anything into your house... You clean down your house constantly, like, hardcore. Um, and you make sure that you never step foot outside and you don't have anything brought in. Okay, so it's like being in a bomb shelter. You have to isolate yourself and you have to be in a bubble. Okay, that's the only way that that's going to be able to make it so you never get it. And you can't guarantee that because it's still floating around here that it's gone. Because we don't have a vaccine for it. We don't have any medications for it right now. Okay, so the moment you step back outside, after you're in that bubble, after it passes, you could get it again. Who knows? So, seriously, it's all this fear of getting it and not getting it and the mortality rate and all this stuff is making people reset and rethink. In the beginning, they're like, oh my god, oh my god. But now, as it's going on and we're in month two, and it might end up becoming month three, who knows? Um, because if we, d at least in New York, if we don't have, according to our governor, if we don't have... Um, two weeks of constant decline numbers, uh, we're not, he's not going to say open up or he's not going to lift the pause. Okay. So these are why I'm also stocking up on a lot of the other things that I'm doing to help me mentally s s feel better. You know, I'm like, okay, I've got my thieves. I'm good. You know, I'm not going to be a hundred percent safe. Nothing is, like I said, unless you were in that scenario. And even in that scenario, you know, it's like with any other craziness, uh, that's going on. So, um, but I'm, I'm also saying that this stuff mentally for me makes me feel better. Okay. Um, and it does its job too. So anyways, um, here's our thieves, whoops, here's our thieves hand, hand sanitizer and it does kill 99.99% .99 of germs. It's even got the little label there. I don't know if you can see it. It's going to be, you can't read it. I don't like how this video, it doesn't zoom in, but anyways, um, so I've got two more. Woo woo! I sent a couple to a couple of friends of mine, um, and, uh, during the very beginning when I had uh, a couple that I had that I didn't, um, I filled up with my, uh, other bottle and I want to get some more of these kind of bottles, um, so I can send out more samples, but I don't have the squishy bottles because my the stores are open <laughs> and I don't have anything here. So, and I only have glass bottles, which wouldn't work if you're trying to push it out. So, pff. um, but anyways, so, and then lastly... And I'm sorry this is, like, digressing and it's all over the place, but I'm, like, way early in the morning. Oh, there's two of them in here. Oh, there's two. Oh, that's cool. All right, so, and then lastly, it comes with the Thieves um, 15 milliliter, which is our regular Thieves blend, okay? This is what's also in all that. This essential oil is in all of what I just showed you. And then, of course, you got Eucalyptus radiata. Now, everybody knows Eucalyptus is really good for the respiratory system. Um, really, really awesome. I love this oil. This is really cool. It smells awesome, and the koalas love it, too. Koala! Koala! Okay, so, the Thieves. Um, it's got clove, also really good for mouth. Dentists use it all the time. Um, I actually had it when I had, um, an issue in my tooth, which they didn't, they didn't, um, 
they didn't patch it up, they didn't suture it right, and then there was, like, oxygen coming in, and then I had really, really bad pain. Um, and then he put, like, clove gauze in there to patch it. Um, this was a couple years ago. So, clove is really good for that stuff. Look it up. Uh, lemon, cinnamon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. Um, so those are the five ingredients in here. Uh, look up the theory, or the, um, tale of the thieves. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna do it here. I said it in a different video. Oh my god, it's already nine o'clock. <laughs> Sorry about this video going super long, but I have a lot of stuff. Um, and basically the tale is that a bunch of these thieves were, um, stealing stuff from plague victims. Um, and then basically they had a bunch of, um, oils put on and, um, yeah, the story goes on. So go look it up. Um, that like is back in the 1800s. So oils have been used for a long time. So, uh, yeah. It gave, it, uh, gave them a shield pretty much. This is this combo. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. And then eucalyptus is eucalyptus radiata. But I'm really actually excited about that foaming hand soap. This stuff, the awesome stuff. Now, if I was able to, I could put it in my work because the soap in there sucks. Um, blending of thieves, lemon, orange, um, uh, in the thieves foaming hand soap, uh, in a, blah, is a gentle and effective alternative to commercial soaps. Um, and then it goes into the orange, cinnamon, rosemary, clove, lemon, are all in here. So yeah, that's awesome. Spray, my mouthwash, free from alcohol, synthetic dyes, and artificial flavors. That's what you want. Um, I know they always say that the alcohol is good because it kills the bacteria and all this other stuff and like the commercial ones um, and all that stuff, but I can't do that much. Uh, that's why in the commercials with like Listerine, they're like, the burn, feel the burn, you know it's working. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. So like if a chemical I spray in my eye and it's burning, oh, it's just working. It's not going to destroy my body, right? Because it's burning my eye and I'm not going to lose my eyesight. I'm like, come on. But anyways, I digress. Trying to make light here. All right. Anyway, sorry about the well, light. Um, I'm in the south side house. Or east side. West side. West side. West side. Um, so yeah, I got more of this, which is good because it's also really good for declogging toilets, guys. Yeah, I did that the other day. It was awesome. So yeah, so I actually ordered all this. Um, it was just a bundle. It was actually a bundle kit I got together, which is now out of stock because everybody's been ordering it because it's so crazy and everybody's like, I need all chemical free cleaners because I'm having issues and I need to get and ditch and switch, which all this stuff is awesome too because if you choose a room in your house that you want to ditch and switch the chemicals because that's part of why your health is deteriorating because of all the processed foods we eat and all the chemicals we have in our houses and all that stuff i definitely noticed it um after i was ditching and switching i mean you can do your toothpaste you can do your mouthwash that's one like in the bathroom that one you can do your cleaning stuff uh you can do soaps hand soaps we also have i also have thieves hand soap actual hand soap not the homing in the bathroom um i advise either doing the thieves kit first which is awesome because then you can get all the things and then just know that you're ditching the switching the chemicals and you're still cleaning your house awesome um and it's good hey Lori. and then um and then you also have the cute little pump thingies Woo -woo -woo. and then like you got your hand sanitizers that you can take with you and know that you're you're good and then your sprays you know, your sprays, you can do that too. Um, and then, you know, as you go on, you can, like, I do shampoos. My shampoos are, are changed out. I have laundry soap. We have Thieves laundry soap. I showed you guys that before. Um, there's laun uh, Thieves dish, like, uh, powder for your, like, your dishwashers. I don't have one here, but that was really cool when I figured that out. Um, there's all sorts of different products that you can switch and ditch. Um, that's just for your mainly household. Uh, you can do, uh, I'm just trying to think of other things that I do. Um, deodorant. The Valor deodorant just went out of stock and I was just about to get it for this month and I'm like, dang it, no, because I love Valor. It's the Courage oil that we have and it's so awesome. It helps me when I'm driving, when I have issues with driving the car and stuff, when I don't know where I'm going. Um, look that one up too, Valor for, uh, in Romans, it was basically given to the Romans before they went into battle to give them courage so that they're not going to flee. So they're like, I'm all facing certain death and I'm going to run away, you know? So, um, they do that. And then, um, 
Uh, I don't know. Different other things like the lavender at night to help sleep, uh, promote good sleeping, um, digies and Life 9. Oh, supplements. Tons of supplements to help the digestive system and different things like that. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple classes as I go on. I just got to find the time. Um, and actually in my group, uh, Get Into Living, we're actually doing classes too. So um, I'm just going to be posting those. Uh, and then that's just the education. I love educating people. This is what I do. I mean, like the more people that understand this and the more people that learn this and the more, there's definitely a trend going on now. Definitely a trend. People are taking more action to figure out what's healthy and what's not healthy because they have no other choice right now. Before we were like, oh, we're going to be blind to it. Oh, well, I don't have time for that. You know, all this other stuff. But now it's actually like, oh my gosh, what I thought I was secure on and what I thought I can count on, I can't anymore. So I definitely need to put my health first. Um, and so we're definitely seeing a trend like that. Um, and I actually just had a business call with Colin Egelson, e Egglesfield, uh, which is awesome because he's part of our team now too, which I'm like blown away because I'm like, wait, this star is an actual physical person that I can actually talk to now? And I can. And I talked to him last night. It was awesome. Like, I'm like, I'm actually talking to a star. This is awesome. And Sabrina, if you're on here, I'm like, that was awesome because it's like reminds me of when you just see people where you are in Manhattan. And I'm like, wow. Or like when we were in that restaurant and I saw um, Sadler uh, and I was like, oh my God, it's Sadler. And you're like, oh boy, because <laughs> you're used to seeing famous people and I'm not. I'm like, ah. But anyways, it's funny. So that was cool. And then um, uh, Ed Daly, we had uh, Ed Daly with his talks and stuff. We talked to him and he was the one that was explaining the life nine and how it's really good for the gut flora and the gut uh, biome and having CoQ10, which is C- Big C, small zero, Q, big Q, and then 10, the number. Um, it's an enzyme or something that you have to have in your body that your body naturally has that um, basically helps you with uh, keeping healthy um, and stuff. It's all this science. I'm not really into the science part, but it's cool learning about it somewhat. Um, I tune out after like 10 minutes. My green personality is good, but also my blue personality. I'm like, I need something fun because like that's way too much information overload. <laughs> So anyways, um, I'm doing that. And then, oh, Vitality oils. You can switch them out and cook with them. That's why they're there. Vitality is specifically branded from the FDA for us to be able to say that you can internalize them. They're uh, certified grass, um, which I don't know the spectrum of it. It's like, correct. I don't know what it's, it stands for, but it's certified grass. Um, and then um, what else? I'm just trying to think of other things that we have. Uh like the supplements, there's like four different color codes for the supplements, red, blue, and green. And they're all tiered for different things. Uh, one's like um, foundation, one's like support, and one's like detox. Um, so different things like that. And Ed Daly is really good um, when I'm on calls with him and my other um, team members and learning about that because he's a, a fit guy and he, he did all that stuff. But... Yeah, 9.15, I'm going to get off because you guys are probably getting annoyed with me and my other stuff. So, um, anyways, so I'm going to have all this stuff. Then again, my foaming hand soap. And I actually, over here, I have a little section um, that I make DIYs when I had the time. This is my table, and I have all my DIY stuff here. All my um, samples that I give to people who... Um, sign up and you know they're like well I got my kit but what else can I do now what other options do I have and so I'm like oh here's a sample of this and oh that's the other thing too the um thieves dish soap which I have right here actually Ooh. so here's the dish soap Beep. so here's the thieves dish soap dish soap this stuff's really awesome too I love this stuff and while you're doing it it's boosting your immune system okay while you're using all these products all these thieves products it's boosting your immune system because it's got the thieves in it it's not taking away like your your over-the-counter ones with all the freaking having to call poison control because people aren't logically doing normal things and you don't have to worry about having like these in in down you know where your kids are gonna get worried about them or your kids are gonna touch anything because you know they're safe they don't have those harsh chemicals and, you know, it's not like those pods that you get and then your kid eats them and they're like, oh, do not advise your kids to eat any of this stuff, just so you know, anyway. Um, but if something small happens, it's not a big, big, big deal like it would be with the other stuff. Anyway, I'm just putting all my stuff back. Ugh. Okay, so anyways, that's over there. Sorry about all this. And... 
I'm doing this in my old room, so it's kind of crazy with all this stuff. I'm so excited about these because I needed to restock on them too. And I can send them to my people. They need them. Um, and I can do a contest soon um, if you guys are interested in getting them and having them sent to you. That's not what I want. These are what I want. I had these at an event one time and it's awesome. It feels so good. Like the foamy foam and it makes your hands feel nice and soft and stuff and it's really awesome. It doesn't take away from your hands. Okay, that's going to fall off the table. <laughs> Those like don't like to move. Alright, so anyways, um, don't mind my hair. Like I said, I just woke up. I don't usually get up until like 10 o'clock. I usually sleep in and... Oh, it's just been a crazy day. And I need to go use an oil. Actually, you know what? Idaho Blue Spruce. Good for waking up in the morning. I love spruce. I like pine. Oh my god. That smells so good. I love, like, walking in pine forests when I'm outside. Um, so, and, by the way, I know I'm jumping all over the place here. Um, the thieves, if you want to do thieves like this by itself, make sure that it's in a glass. Either a glass spray bottle, a glass whatever. Um, because it's got citrus oils in them. And citrus oils have natural occurring uh, enzymes and things in them that break down plastics. Especially the photo, proto chemical or whatever is in the plastics nowadays that are like make them really cheap. Um, so just uh, make sure that when you're doing that, any kind of citrus oil, citrus fresh, orange, lemon, any of that, um, that you put it in glass. And I'm going to put this on my ear because I need, it's my Vita Flex points. And it automatically, just like on the bottoms of your feet, it automatically like wakes you up. And I keep forgetting to put stuff on the bottom of my feet with the thieves. I do the thieves on the bottom of my feet too. I got a roller. And I do all that stuff. Like thieves is the shit. Oh, geese. Oh, there they are. Yeah, two geese. It's... Sorry, I am like squirrel brain. I need to go get my tea. <laughs> to wake up and I'm choking on my own spit that's not cool sorry I hope you enjoyed this I know it was kind of boring but I tried making it a little bit fun um like I said I'm like cuckoo right now cuckoo for cocoa puffs all right anyway <laughs> I'm gonna get going um those of you who uh would like to catch the replay get back out and catch the replay it's just basically all about my thieves products that I got see like right now I just spit by accident so if I was walking into a store and somebody did that without a mask on I'm glad I have my thieves. That's all I'm going to say. Just glad I have my thieves. Just really glad I have my thieves. Sad. We can't control everything. And that's the sad part. It's actually a teaching lesson too. Um, so like I said. If that was the case. And we had a big thing. And everybody wanted to be wiped off the planet. We would all be wiped off the planet anyways. Isn't that the way that survival of the fittest or something? I don't even know. But anyways. Um, so it is what it is can't control everything the more we try to control it the more it becomes out of our hands and the more we get frustrated and stuff so we have to give it up to the unknown uh some people call it god some people call it source some people call it whatever you want spiritual unknown i don't know um yeah and it actually saves us from having to be weirded out and stressed and the stress causes our immune system to get compromised and all this other stuff so it's we're actually doing ourselves a favor if we don't freaking freak out all the time about everything that doesn't happen it could happen and this and this and that i mean you can go a myriad of ways but just being able to know that i have products in my house that are not going to cause my immune system to become compromised even more if i was using over-the-counter stuff uh like i used to um i still got to work on trying to get my uh gut health uh, mouth health sinus health uh together and rebooted but i think that also has to do with this uh my house and i think i have mice in the vents which when the heat's on that's a problem so i'm gonna have to probably spray the vents now the vents are metal and it's a really old house it's over 200 years this house is over 200 years old uh i'm gonna have to spray them with the thieves I, part of it i'm gonna put one cap full of the, the cleaner in my spray bottle my glass spray bottle and spray the vents out because it will deter the rodents um the, the mice from entering um, and it's far enough away from the actual heat source source that it's not going to cause a combustion. Now, I would not go downstairs and start spraying out the immediate, you know, heater where the, where the heat is and the light and then the 
ignition i mean that would be dumb don't do that that's stupid don't do that guys <laughs> but out here like they were saying put a little like spray a little thing like some thieves on a gauze or a um, cotton ball and put it in your your vent um i'm just gonna spray the vent down because it's so far away and i can hear them in there and the cats are looking into the vents and i know they're like trying to crawl up and i actually had one up here and then we my cat killed two of them downstairs so i definitely gotta do something about that and that's also why we're getting itchy me and my grandfather are itchy because there's something that's being thrown out that we can't see in the air that's affecting us and we're breathing it in which is not good and i think that's another reason why because the environment is a problem so if it cure and fix the environment, it also helps boost the human, all the systems and the immune system so we can better uh, be good. Okay, uh, so I'm going to be doing that and a lot of other different things around here to try to make it okay, do the best I can. The house is falling apart, but eh, whatever, you know, can't control it all, right? All right, so I'm going to go. And I hope you guys are good to uh, give you a big virtual hug. I know we got the new icon there. Um, but I gotta go wake up some more. And um, thank you for joining me on this uh, really long, sorry, uh, unboxing of my um, April ER. Thank you. And um, I'm gonna go put all my thieves away. And do some good stuff. Oh, and I'm going to eventually have to rip up my carpet in the front room. So that's also part of it because the dust mites and things like that are breathing in. It's causing issues with the breathing, sinuses, and other things like that. So when we want to do this and we want to ditch and switch, we also want to try to break down and figure out what... See, this little fly thing. Um, in our environment is causing an issue. Um, things that we never thought that would be an issue. Like, see this. Fuzzy. Um, dust. Dander pet dander things like that uh, i know i'm allergic to the orange cat so and her pet dander but the moment i can decrease a lot of it then i'll be a lot better um so yeah all right guys stay safe do what you gotta do um and uh yeah try to stay as sane as you can i know it's getting kind of uh end of the road here i don't know what they're talking about with the shutdowns and all that and uh the fact that we might be reopening we might not be um, depending on what the correlation is in the numbers, but, um, yeah, I know a lot of people are getting restless, so I'll try to be on here a little bit. Um, I still work. I'm still out in the public. I'm uh, still doing my stuff, trying to service people and help people with paint so they can do odd jobs and different things. Uh, we're getting into the season where people are going to be out painting their outside of their houses now and things like that, so it's going to be a little, a little crazy, but, um, trying to do everything together to try to, um, kickstart this back up again where it was before so that I can um replace it with my job so I can have the full income um our team just hit royal crown which is awesome which is the second highest in the team um Chelsea our team leader hit royal crown uh for the second time now which is awesome and a bunch of other our other leaders uh hit a bunch of other benchmarks which is awesome and amazing i love this team and they're very there they're cheering us all on to hit our our benchmarks and things um i need to get back up to senior star um and get paid by star which is 75 a month for star average for star look up the income disclosure um post that i have in my groups or in chelsea's group if you're already in the oils excuse me um it's really fun it's a lot of fun and we have one of the few actually team groups that actually support you have all the information in the group you don't have to go anywhere for anything you just search in the search bar what you want and then it brings it up and you're awesome um and we have a lot of people doing a lot of giveaways you end up getting a lot of free things i just got a free actually uh diffuser thing for my area diffuser that um one of our other teammates got a bunch of and she's like hey anybody want a free one and i'm like hey i have an area diffuser you know, eventually it's going to break down. I'd like a new plate for it. So I don't have to worry about not being without a diffuser. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's just, it's a lot of things that, sorry, Ooh. a lot of things that I didn't think, um, was going to be there. Um, and I'm blown away by the generosity of my team and, and the companionship. And I mean, I've got good friends in here that I would never have been able to find. I mean, some friends are even, like, as tight as my high school friends. Um, so it's really cool. And nobody's like, oh, my God, you reached that one. And, and they're mad at each other for reaching. No, we team up and we help each other reach our dreams. And that's what we want. That's 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 the kitchen. 
everybody's like, yes, cheering everybody else on and going to the events and supporting each other and learning about healthier lifestyles and learning about what to do and what not to do and uh, advising on what different things you can do and making it fun. I mean, it's all, and, and then the, it's all the personality things too. Look into the personality, the red, green, blue, and yellow. Green, me, research bound, need to know the back end of everything. Blue, having to have fun, having to do DIYs, having to be able to, you know, have fun with your friends. Yellow, being able to support others, like my caregiving with Gramp and things like that. That's yellow personality. And red, the ones that want to go get something, that, that want to reach that benchmark, that want to freaking crush their goals, that are all like, hey, you have a contest, I'm going to win that contest, that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's it's a lot of stuff that I've learned over the years, and, and it's all business stuff too, in the back end too, is what I've learned, and I'm growing from it, and I'm learning a lot of stuff, and actually working at Sherwin-Williams actually has helped me too, because Sherwin-Williams and uh, Young Living, they're actually based very similar in the way that they reach out to people and explain things and things like that. It's actually really cool, because uh, the business end of Sherwin with um, the marketing aspect and the marketing of Young Living is very similar. Um, with how they go and like, okay, well, let's talk to these people and let's ex educate these people on the different products and let's educate these people on what the application is and how to do this and why this product is better with this price point versus this other store with this price point. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually really cool and, and it's just showing the value of people and, and if they feel that that's their journey, then that's their journey. If they don't, then, you know, I don't know. It's It's each person's journey. I'm not about to be like, you have to get everything. No. It's all good. But anyways, I just went completely like an hour along and I am so sorry, guys. All right, I need to get off and I need to get some other stuff. This is what happens when I wake up in the morning and I'm like, ah! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now. Black Spruce woke me up a little bit. That's awesome. Now I need to recenter myself and go get breakfast and see about Gramp and if he wants to get up, I can go and get him up and see what he wants for breakfast. Maybe I'll make some scrambled eggs. Yeah, we'll see. I really like scrambled eggs. I'll just give him an English muffin because that's what he usually wants in the morning. If he wants his TV dinner, we can have it now. I've got two ready, but anyway. Um, all right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.